Hello and welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. This episode is for educators. The number one question I have been getting, how do I do drawings for tutorials and videos? I'm going to recommend an app called Explain Everything. It is available on all platforms. There's also a web-based browser version for it. I think it is worth a look. Some of my colleagues say that the learning curve is a little steep. Maybe it is compared to some standard whiteboard apps, but I tell you it's worth it because of the number of things under the hood that this little guy can do. So I'm going to show it to you on my 12.9-inch um, iPad Pro 2018. I've got a second generation Apple Pencil with it. I'm going to go ahead and record my screen so you can see everything behind the scenes as well as what the Explain Everything video looks like in terms of what it will output when we are making an actual video. So I'm going to show you kind of how I go about using it. Um, everything you see within the red frame is what will be in the eventual video when we start recording. Everything outside on the rest of the canvas, that's for you. So what you can do is have pre-made objects ready to go and then as you're recording you can drag them in and resize them and do stuff with it. It allows for an extremely dynamic presentation which I think is what we're all going for here. This is called stealth mode by the way um, but it's brilliant. I'll show you what, what I mean by that in a second. So when you go along the left side these are the tools that you have. So this allows you to import all kinds of files uh, which you can draw on top of and interact with. This is the pan uh, move zoom tools so that th this allows you to move things either while you're recording or before. Um, if you use two fingers you can pinch and zoom. I have this on a rotation lock so I can't twist it but naturally you could do that as well. Here we have a pen tool, lots of different color, well infinite colors and, and uh, lots of sizes, a highlighter tool, an eraser tool. This is fill, this is shapes, you can make uh, lines and shapes. Uh, here you have uh, a text tool, you have a lasso, different types of selection tools, super, super helpful. Um, that's how you get rid of objects very quickly. Um, this is going to be a laser pointer. You have different size uh, pointers and arrows and things for the actual um, presentation. Um, the next one is your inspector. So when you select an object, this, this is super powerful. This allows you to group and ungroup objects and orient them, lock them down if that's what you want, all kinds of stuff. There's a fabulous undo button, very important. How can apps not have an undo button? I just don't know. And then you can control the type of presentation that you want to have. Okay, so when you look along the bottom, you have your timeline. Now I have previously record, I've previously recorded this video, so I did a previous recording and as you can see it looks like a regular video editor, but what I want to do is make a new recording and when you want to do that, you can select either an overwrite, a mix, or an insert. Brilliant. I'm going to overwrite the whole thing so we're going to start from scratch, but I absolutely love that they give you this option. So I'm going to hit record and it asks you, are you sure you want to overwrite? I'm going to say yes. And now here we go. So it's recording. It's recording everything that I do on the canvas and it's recording everything that I say. That's optional. There's a microphone. You can either mute or not. So what I want to do generally is pre-draw a lot of stuff. Obviously I already have these little images drawn and while I'm giving the presentation, that's when I want to be labeling things, highlighting things for the students to pay attention to. So these are the ligands uh, acetylcholine. This is a nicotinic receptor. So this is a method of signal transduction if you are not aware. So I would label these and talk about them. This is what the whole setup looks like when the channel is closed. When I'm done talking about this, I can go back to the little hand tool and resize the whole thing, but I want to keep it visible. I want them to be able to see that. But now I'm going to talk about what happens when two molecules of acetylcholine bind to this receptor and boom. So now I bring that in and now the channel changes shape. Now I can talk about how the channel for monovalent cations is open. So sodium is going to flood in, some potassium can move out and, and so forth. And what I can do while I'm talking about these things is use the little laser pointer arrow tool and you'll notice now that I can talk about how, you know, it takes two molecules of acetylcholine to bind in order for this conformational shape to occur. If you don't like the laser pointer, you can use arrows, so now I can point. So this allows you to interact with your drawings in a very dynamic, natural way. Um, I'm going to hit stop. And now what you see as we go back through this in time, all of the, of course, my voice as well as all of the pen drawings, tools, resizing, everything, all of that is recorded. And of course you already saw the output in real time on the screen, but that's the idea. 
I hope you can see how powerful this is. Um, I absolutely love this. I recommend it to everyone and I urge you to give it a try. So explain everything. I'll put the details down below. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up and hit the bell and hit those buttons. And also in the comments, let me know what you would like to see next because I would like to help in any way that I can. Thank you so much for visiting the Penguin Prof channel. Good luck.